Our planet has a delicate balance. We release gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat like a blanket around the Earth. This is called the greenhouse effect. For many years, we have released too many greenhouse gases. This is causing our planet to warm up too quickly. This warming is leading to climate change. Climate change brings many problems like extreme weather and rising sea levels. Net zero is a goal to balance the amount of greenhouse gases we release with the amount we remove from the atmosphere. Imagine a set of scales. On one side we have the gases we release. On the other side we have the gases we remove. Net zero means these scales are balanced. Climate change is one of the biggest threats facing our planet. It's already having serious impacts around the world. We are seeing more extreme weather events like hurricanes, floods and droughts. These events can cause widespread damage and displacement. Climate change is also causing sea levels to rise, which threatens coastal communities. The warming planet is impacting wildlife and ecosystems, putting many species at risk. Reaching net zero is crucial to limit these impacts and protect our planet for future generations. By achieving net zero, we can slow down global warming and prevent the worst effects of climate change. Reaching net zero requires a global effort. We need to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases we release into the atmosphere. This means transitioning to cleaner sources of energy, like solar and wind power. It also means making our industries more energy efficient and reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. At the same time, we need to remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. This can be done through natural solutions like planting trees and through technological innovations like carbon capture and storage. Achieving net zero is a significant challenge, but it is one that we must overcome to secure a sustainable future. One of the most important steps towards net zero is transitioning to renewable energy sources. Instead of relying on fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, we can harness the power of the sun, wind and water. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity. Wind turbines use the power of the wind to generate energy. Hydroelectric dams generate electricity from the flow of water. Geothermal power plants tap into the Earth's heat. These renewable energy sources are becoming increasingly affordable and efficient. As we invest in these technologies, we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and significantly cut our greenhouse gas emissions. Section 5. Greener industries transforming how we make things. Our industries, from manufacturing to construction, also need to become more sustainable. This means reducing energy consumption, using cleaner production processes and finding innovative ways to minimize waste. Factories can become more energy efficient by upgrading equipment and using smart technologies to optimize energy use. New materials and production processes can reduce waste and emissions. The circular economy, where we reuse and recycle materials, is key to minimizing our environmental impact. Section 6 Travel and Transport Moving Towards a Sustainable Future Transportation is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Cars, trucks, ships and planes all rely heavily on fossil fuels. To achieve net zero, we need to transform how we travel and transport goods. Electric vehicles powered by renewable energy offer a cleaner alternative to gasoline-powered cars. Public transportation systems like trains and buses can significantly reduce the number of cars on the road. For shorter distances, walking and cycling are not only good for the environment, but also for our health. Section 7. Everyone plays a part actions for individuals. While governments and businesses have important roles to play, individuals can also make a difference in the fight against climate change. By making conscious choices in our daily lives, we can contribute to a more sustainable future. We can reduce our carbon footprint by using energy more efficiently at home, choosing sustainable products, reducing food waste and adopting a more plant-based diet. By supporting businesses and organisations committed to sustainability, we can encourage positive change on a larger scale. Section 8. Joining hands, global efforts for a net zero world. Addressing climate change requires a global effort. Countries around the world are setting ambitious targets to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. 
International agreements like the Paris Agreement provide a framework for cooperation and action. These agreements encourage countries to share knowledge, technologies and resources to accelerate the transition to a net-zero world. By working together, we can overcome the challenges and create a more sustainable future for all. Section 9. Our Legacy – A Healthier Planet for Tomorrow Achieving net zero is not just about reducing greenhouse gas emissions, it is about creating a healthier and more sustainable world for future generations. By taking action now, we can protect our planet from the worst effects of climate change and ensure a brighter future for all. It is a legacy that we can be proud to leave behind, a world where our children and grandchildren can breathe clean air, drink clean water and enjoy the beauty and diversity of our planet. The time to act is now. Together, we can make a difference.